Developing news, a 300-year-old live oak is on the chopping block. And right now, a low country man is putting his freedom on the line to save that tree. News 2's Tating Turner joins us live from Clements Ferry Road. And Katie, this tree is slated for demolition. That's right, Carolyn, and the owner of this property, Sammy Sanders, has been guarding the tree with his life. He's actually sitting up in the tree right now, and while it is scheduled to be chopped, Sammy Sanders says he isn't going anywhere. This tree's been here as long as the United States has been a country. To Sammy Sanders, the meeting tree is more than just a tree. I've lived here all my life. I grew up right here. For years, he's fought to keep this tree on his family's land. But with plans to expand Clements Ferry Road, if Berkeley County leaders have their way, this live oak's days are numbered. The tree doesn't have to be cut down for safety or anything else. Apparently, it's just a little bit of wetlands, which nobody wants to hurt wetlands, but wetlands can be mitigated and built. You can't build another tree like this. Sanders says he's tried to work with county and transportation officials to find a solution, even drawing up his own plans with no luck. Now, in perhaps the tree's final hours, the community is pulling together and hoping for a miracle. It's so beautiful. As for Sanders, when the crews come rolling in, he plans to stay put 75 feet in the air. Nobody needs to get hurt. Nobody needs to be violent. But, you know, they, you know I, I, I'm going to do peacefully what I can to prevent the tree from being cut down. It's a busy scene out here right now. Crews are already out here working. We're going to keep updating you guys. We're not sure when exactly the tree may be chopped down tonight, but again, we'll be updating you as we learn more. Live in Berkeley County, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two. Katie, thank you. We reached out to Berkeley County about the project and they said they are working to quote, create other ways to make the area recognized and appreciated. Additionally, in order to mitigate the impacts from removing the tree, the city of Charleston and county will be planting 62 live oaks.